I got a couple of things that I need to get done today. I'm going to be installing these heavy batteries and inverter. So the second thing that we're gonna be working on today is installing this big monstrosity. Morning. Man, it's looking like uh, it might rain. We about to get a few things knocked out. Y'all can see we got some 48 volt batteries, my inverter, and then, yeah, that's an AC unit I picked up off of Marketplace or from somewhere we got that from, but we finna get it out. Let's get the inverter and these two batteries out real quick. Y'all, those are heavy, so I'm gonna go and grab the tractor. I want to say happy third anniversary to watch cycle they sent us these batteries out and we're gonna use them to set up our powerhouse so we appreciate them for that the batteries do go hard i hooked them up already and make sure they work and all of that these are 48 volt 100 amp hour rack mount batteries and for my setup I need a couple of them and the link will be down in the description for these this is super important for for our setup here to be able to be off grid first things first i'm going to be installing these heavy batteries and inverter the next thing I'm gonna be doing today is installing this uh, breaker box which is uh, definitely a new one to me but we'll get it it's a 200 amp 40 space 40 circuit i didn't know exactly what will how will grow so i got the big boy and then y'all this is gonna be fun i made this box with the plugs and all of that and the wire so that i could get ac it's definitely gonna be a fun one i'm proud of that it's already pretty hot these are my steps for now i think i'm going to put a piece of plywood up because this is going to be temporary anyway all right let's get this uh this inverter out the box so the second thing that we're going to be working on today is installing this big monstrosity of a breaker box so yeah let's get that thrown up there real quick too all right and the watt cycle batteries to me is incredibly simple to um to hook up there we go first jump washer and lock washer back on let's get this red one attached first i already had this but definitely you depending on what you're running you don't need anything this heavy of a wire like this is this is pure overkill all right got that one on so now that i got both batteries connected i'm gonna go ahead and open up the plate on my inverter pull the plate off of that set it down here so in the inverter y'all there's there's battery connections and of course positive on the left negative on the right all right and i may change the wire out later y'all but then again i may not because once i get everything set up in here and working properly as it's supposed to be then i won't need to worry about none of that all right now that the batteries are connected 
everything is good to go. I'm gonna turn it on with everything open. You saw me hook that up. Now we're gonna work on the batteries. You can see they have breakers on each one. We are jumped and then we run around in the loop into the positive. Same thing here, negative jumped. Then it runs around, makes a twist and bang on the negative let's see what the batteries do so turn the batteries on one at a time one you should see it light up we own that one's good so we're all good we're connected i'm gonna flip the breaker to on for that one on for that one so it at least knows hey it's we getting some power out of here and we're going to send it to the inverter. This is the breaker to turn the batteries on and you can see that it's off. So I'm going to flip it on. And that still hasn't come on because there's one more thing to do. And that's turn that on. And yeah, you can see the, the batteries are. I don't know if you can see those lights, but you can see that they're full. I think you can see them. And look, it's just one more thing that I need to do to make them communicate. So I know y'all can't see that, but everything is showing zero. Nothing's actually working just yet. So let me grab my communication cable. I'm gonna connect everything on the outside, y'all. So, all right, that's connected. And since it's only one, I didn't link the other ones together. For this demonstration, I don't need to. This is showing that the battery's sitting at uh 53.2 volts these things are set up and i can't get ac power out yet which is going to bring us to the second thing and that's getting that breaker box wired from here so we can see what those batteries can do so first let me turn that off let me knock that breaker down and then these batteries i'm gonna turn that off that off and just to be safe i'm gonna go ahead and turn all the batteries off or turn the power off to the battery as well. Now this is kind of a simple one too. Uh, four wires, ground, positive, negative, neutral. And then I'm gonna run it over to this box and I'm gonna do the same thing in the box. Kinda in there doing their thing. All right, give y'all a closer look at that. All I did was connected my ground, my neutral, my positive and my negative to this breaker. And then as you see in a normal breaker box, all of these is usually got a lid on it. We'll have a breaker in it and you can connect that breaker and get power out. A little early in the video, y'all saw this. I made it. I think I took a couple of pictures of me making it just at my kitchen table, but I did. I made it, bought everything separate, the box, the plugs, the wire, spliced it. And I'm going to hook this up so that I could plug into this. There we go. So we got our ground, our neutral, and then our hot is in the breaker. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect the breaker. Hey y'all, real quick so I can connect what I wanna connect and run in here, I'm gonna throw this window in. But stay tuned to see the build of this power shed and how I got to be putting this window in right now. Cause it's coming, I promise. Hold up. We finna try to plug this in to this system. Again, y'all, watch cycle batteries. We'll be powering this and a whole lot of other stuff that we have in this power shed. Again, batteries connected to the inverter. The inverter sends a load out through the breaker. That load comes into the breaker box the breaker box can then be wired with smaller breakers long as it's hooked up properly 
to actual plugs so today that's what we're plugging this into but i could just set this down here on the floor so we can plug into that later and then now that cord that's coming out of there that we're about to plug this here bad boy into is hot see what we get if we get anything oh is that a green light can y'all see that <laughs> it's definitely getting power from everything batteries through inverter through to the the panel on down to that again don't do as i do this is me seeing how my setup is gonna work so let's turn this thing on I don't know y'all, it's on, but I don't know if maybe the blower's out or it don't work no more, but let's leave it on and see what it does. Man, that's what you get when you just pick up all the stuff and try to see if it's gonna work. Y'all know, uh, you know fans are important. Let's plug this in. And again, y'all, I'm plug I'm just plugging in down there from the yellow. It comes down here. I just put it on the floor because that's a little bit safer for for me, I think. So let's plug the fan in and see if the fan comes on. And of course, the fan came on. All right, y'all. So y'all can see it's working fan on plugged in y'all could check that out into its own breaker and just so y'all could kind of see like that it works just like your house as y'all noted this cable right here is what that fan is connected into right now the ac just don't work so if i turn this breaker off bye bye fan it's just like at home except for it's running off of those two batteries right there which can be charged up by solar run through the inverter and power whatever you have so y'all check it out watt cycle awesome people worked with them so that i could get two batteries and show y'all i'll probably have this whole thing laid out with batteries soon uh hopefully watt cycle you know some batteries don't like to play with other batteries but this was fun and we missed the well we got some rain but it looks like it might be coming to us it's, it's it's out there looking crazy again watt cycle happy third anniversary appreciate y'all sending out the batteries they work well homestead homies t3 tribe y'all stay real man this is uh this is pretty dope thank y'all for tuning in the wife wasn't with me this time. That's all good. She'll be with me on the next ones. And uh, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Peace. Hold on real quick before I go. Let me show y'all the Watt Cycle app. All right, so y'all could see that there are two batteries in there. So those two batteries down there, uh, I'm gonna say allow Bluetooth. So it's on, right? And it's showing you the batteries and how much they're charged and what's going on with them but you can also see how many watts that fan down there is pulling and this thing just being on trying to work is pulling but it keeps cutting off I, it's again it ain't i don't know what's up with it i think that's basically it for their um Oh, check it out, y'all. I was like, what just happened? Why it cut off? Because I actually turned the battery off. So if I turn the battery back on from the app, all of that's going to turn back on, too. It seems like it's a little delayed. But, yeah. Man, I don't know if y'all could see that down there. But, yeah, the fan wasn't on. And now the fan turned back on. All right, that's cool. And then charging, you can turn off. So the, so the battery... You could turn off from the app whether you want it to charge or discharge, which means turn it on so the whole system can get some power. 
and then there's your about with your manual it looks nice and simple they have a service email and a phone number so that's the app y'all that's the app and this is the system and now I'm done